brain can't create from nothing. Everything new and undiscovered is nothing more than the combination of known objects and phenomena. But what if everything around us, from the mathematic point of view, is seeking the not, zero, as if to make everything that exists from nothing? Once there was only darkness, and then the light and liquids appeared. The time was going, though the vain attempts of multiplying the zeros couldn't give the entity. It's been going on for so long that, once, the time itself went in a different direction, having made it absurd. The absurd created the paradox, which I've been exploring over the past centuries. Paradox lies in the fact that once, at the moment of a total desperation, the formulas led me to the step where the entity was created. An absolutely accidental division. Nothing was divided by nothing. Zero divided by zero made something the creature that wasn't seeking for the void. It was a plant of green color, which was heading in an opposite way from the oblivion. This creature appeared to be able to survive with light and liquids only, and there was plenty of it. But the plant, for some inexplicable reason, was trying to reach the knot. It required something else, something that was of his kind and the nature, underlying the core of its own birth. Tick, tock, tick, tock. The time wasn't destroying the plant, but made it disappear, coming back to the void, where it had come from. The anger, the lack of meaning, the formula and the mistake, the nonsense and the illusions. Someday, I saw the world. What a great many of similar plants had the gift of self-production without the human presence. They could spread, and it was their purpose, the purpose of life. The tree's aspiration to grow up, fighting the law of the gravity. The myth of the impossibility of division by zero was dispelled. But for making the existence, something else needed to be found. Something that doesn't pursue the knot 
either. And the answer to my question appeared in the faith of the world I had seen. Any incidence which is not equal to the zero, divided by zero, gave the infinite number of scenarios. Green fields and woods, the atmosphere and the oxygen, the birds and the insects. One question remained unanswered. Is it all real? It didn't matter for me. 